Right, I googled it, it's a drop and I can't, um, it's a thingy drop and I'm not really in the mood for fighting a load of shit, so we're just going to continue with the story. So, we've got to go to the end of here. At least we've got a genie. One less thing to do. I'll just go down. Okay. I was going to go up, but I just go down. Oh. Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they called it the seaside paradise of the south. <laughs> Look, they addressed it not correctly right. Tut, so dis so very disrespectful. What, huh? Knickers, it's like ding dong doll all flipping over again. Jeepers. Governor, come now. What is this to stop us? Uh, Governor, the very best we need. What do we have here? Hmm? You are visitors to our town, I take it. You must know that all who enter this place are required by the Lord to wear their appropriate attire. I speak, of course, a bathing suit. Um, but we ain't playing on the movie now, is it? We're just passing through, like. Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The doctor is in the past cannot be revisited. We once had a great trouble here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You would never think it to look like this place now. It's so peaceful. It was a time of great sadness. Travelers from all over our world sailed to Custom Cove. Travelers who do not always see eye to eye. The men at the sea are heartily, but quick-tempered. Without constant supervision, they would soon fall upon one another in anger. I gotta see if you keep yourself hydrated. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. I'm sure you have guessed already what it is. Um, you have to be naked, so we can see your titty tick bitties to keep all the men under control. Huh? What is it? Flipping crackers or something? What's the difference of wood? Would that make? A great difference indeed, fairy. For in a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Ho ho ho. And no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. Be they from Alamamoon, Dingondo, or the further flung islands of the north. When they don the bathing suit, they become citizens of Costa Rica. Wow, well, that's interesting. Isn't this a strange idea? How did you convince them to agree? Ho ho ho. At first, of course, I met with the ridiculous from all sides. None would support my scheme. But I do not waver. I remain true to my vision. I put away my res resentment and my frustration. And while I was able to show such restraint because I had a dream, a dream of peace in mind of my birth, a place of birth. Gee, I thought they were dressed like that because it was so hot. <laughs> Me too. Ho ho ho, you are not the first to think so, but the only that, this only proves how peaceful a town has become. Such a misunderstanding is a happy one. I understand now. We should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everyone else. Let's do it. I want to become a citizen of Catherine Hill. Alright then. If we flip him us, but I ain't got a swift suit, have ya? Ho ho ho. Not worry, little one. Uh, we have great wealth of baby suits prepared for vis visitors such as yourself. Come, you will follow me to my home. And you will get changed. Check me out, dolly boy. I look the business in this little number. Huh? <laughs> oh, there's marvellous. <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> Bum 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 What do you think? Bum 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 Sorry I'm late. Some guy was touching my pussy. I think his name was Donald Bump or something like that. We may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of the more involved nature of feminine dress, eh, Oli boy? Oh, I guess. Uh, uh, anyway, all the sins cast for cover. What's going on down here? <laughs> Let's go take a look around. Thank you very much, Governor, sir. Ho ho ho. These bathing suits really elegant your curves, my lady. Maybe you could spend the night at mine for free. Hey, 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 hey. 
Now at last I can say to you, welcome to Castaway Cove. Uh, thank you. And now at last we can go look for flipping blood. Talk about a fair fan man. You have a tender bathing suit. Right. That was fucking pointless. Damn, look at this guy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you the captain of the ship? D I am, lad. Captain and master of all a sailor. You have a beautiful boat, Captain. Sind Bar. You do not need to tell me that, since she's the most beautiful in the seven seas, I say. There is no fine or a savior ship out there. And her name is no less fine or fearsome, for she is the legendary sea cow. Oh, I have something to ask you, Captain. Would you last ride aboard a ship? Huh? Oh, you see passage aboard the sea cow? We need to get to Atinium. What Atinium? A vast girl. You believe you can merely stroll aboard? Who do you think you are? Well, Captain, I'm... Um... Oh, Captain. I may have say what a fine captain you are. It's a young man standing before you, and it seems all lightly, but bear with me. This on someone's scrap of ladder, huh? Oliver, his name. He's the only one joining to send a flipping world. And he's only accompanied by none other than myself. Drippy, Lord High, you're the Lord Fairies. Oh, and I'm each here. You are a fairy, yeah. I've travelled the world, but I've never seen one of your kind before. So, lad, you travel to save the world with the fairy for a companion. <laughs> then surely my ship alone will not suffer. You'll need two ships a fleet even. <laughs> huh? Does that mean we can ride with you? But of course, boy, just as soon as you've shown me your letter of passage from our beloved Caffeine, the master of Eveloped Lowey. Uh, Exaloted Lowey, what the fuck? We say you after our for our glory, and not a follow my Should the Caliphate see fit to grant your permission to come aboard here, I will refuse you nothing. Uh, all right, Captain. We could get the letter right away, right now. <laughs> Fine words, that. But easier said than done, I fear. Still, you see, you are truly to save the world. You should be a work of mere moments. I don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We just have to prove him wrong. If we can bring him the letter passage, you have to believe us. Let's go back to Alan Moon and get it. I was just there. Calafila Louie. I wonder what she's like. Look forward to this. I'm a flippin' love, flip love world TV. Cool. Still no fast travel though. What is that? Is that a crab? There's one there as well. That's cool. Am I still wearing a bathing suit when I leave? What was it? No. Nah, I'm changed. But yeah, I tried that boss again over there and it didn't go very well. I nearly killed him, but I was too far. Oh, fuck off. So, where do we need to go exactly? Weren't you listening, Cloth Fairs? To where the Caliphate is, and This place must. The palace, man, the palace! It's beyond the main square, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Huh? Did you follow us, sir? Hmm? Yikes! What's wrong, you two? Nothing. I just had a funny feeling we were being followed for a second. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry, let's get going, shall we? Sure. By the beards of the mighty, the regal lines, the majestic curse of the nostril, your nose, it is a very respect, the same, the same as hers. I'm sorry? Please let me study it. What? What are you? Who are you? I forgive me, I am but a hump artist. I am currently painting a portrait of one who, whom you bear the most striking resemblance. I look like a person in your portrait? 
Indeed, and alas, I'm able to meet her in the flesh. Will you not allow me to study a little more? <laughs> Why don't you put on your bathing suit? <laughs> well, if you must, go ahead. Mm, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. The line of the jewel's key. I mean, uh, yes, of course. Thank you. I, I am in your debt. Now, you must... Now what? I must finish my masterpiece. You have you have my internal gratitude. Um, that's alright. You're very welcome. I must return to my studio, by the way. Farewell. What a fucking creep. Well, <laughs> I wonder who's the person he looks like me. Whoever it is, us has certainly seems to think he she's rather beautiful. Crikey, these hardy types are a bit intense, isn't it? Not to mention a flipping weirdo. <laughs> if I can read my mind. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Just that, you know, he was a bit of a funny one. Don't you think? Just me, was it? Right, oh, I shut my big mouth, shall I? So, time to get moving, is it? Sure, let's go. He still doesn't sell us babanas. Tidy, this is the palace. Let's get ourselves inside, shall we? Halt, you may not pass. You think you can just walk into the palace of the most revered cal caliphate? Oh, that ain't stir. Uh, Abdul, what seems to be the problem? What, what seems to be the problem here? Master Abdul. This Mr. Grid switch attempt into the palace without permission. Oh, is that so? Wait, you are the Babana Madison's daughter, are you not? I'm Abdul. Visor to a esteemed caliphate. Of our efforts to supply of magnificence with Babana are, as ever, much highly appreciated. I heard that you were, well, unwell. It seems that you are recovered. Yes, I'm much better now, thank you. This, that is excellent news. Tell me, child, what business have you at the palace? Well, sir, you see, we need a ship, and we can't get one without a letter of passage from the Caliphate. You and your friends must journey to the lands across the sea. I sympathize, and I would dearly love to arrange an audience for you. However, is something wrong? I'm afraid the caliphate is indisposed. Much as it would please her, she's kind of unavailable to hear the requests of any of her subjects. Oh, is that too bad? Apologies, but she has requested that she must not be disturbed under any circumstances during our afternoon snack. Uh, then I guess I just have to wait until after that. Well, would that would that you could, but her afternoon snack is immediately followed by her second lunch, and after that, after that, then comes her late afternoon snack. Um, is there any time she's not eating? Alas, and me out nudisty. So the other one was a cat, and it was meow disty. This is now her mudesty. Her, her mudesty. Miraculous hunger dictates that she dine even during her sleeping hours. This is why I'm forced to spend my v every waking hour procuring her most beloved food. <sighs> but I must be going. Her most beloved food? I wonder what that could be. Forgive me. I must make the necessary arrangements before the merchant supplies are exhausted. I am much terribly sorry that I'm not able to go on to an audience. Curses, I must hurry. If I can get, if I come and prepare her mutesty's next meal in good time, she'll be most displeased. Must have do. Must have do. I've spoken. Leave the place. Must have do spoken. It looks like we don't have much choice, Oliver. Come on. We'll come back later. Solar Califa has a very special favorite food, is that? Hey, I bet if we found out what it was, we'd take her someone as a present. We'd be glad to see her. But it's Tika Mahala. That's a neat idea, sure. But, um, you sure? But I, I don't know what our favorite food is. 
Oi, 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 boy. You know where we can find out, don't ya? Um. Come on, slow coach. You. We go to your world and find our soulmate, innit? Oh, of course. We find a soulmate, we can find out what the favorite food is and give gives, gives some to the Califer. But how do we find out what the Califer's soulmate is? I've never seen her before. Hmm, so we need to find out what the Califer looks like. But we can't go and meet her. But if we go meet her, how are we supposed to find out what she looks like? I saw her once in the parade when I was little, but it was so long ago I can't even remember anything about her. So what do we do? Jeepers. We don't know what the Califer's favorite food is, and we don't know what she looks like. I have to confess, I'm completely out of ideas too. Bah, all this thinking is making my head hurt, man. Tell you what, let's go down to the kids' credo and sleep on it, shall we? Well, I guess. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of tired. The cat's credo is in the entrance to the town. Okay, let's rest a while. Cold. Looks like all the leaders are going to be themed. Animal themed. Ah. Does hurt my voice all this stuff. I'm not used to it. I'll get used to it eventually. Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of cat's cradle establishment. Oh my! Hey. I must apologize! Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me! Is it finished? Is it, it is really indeed. The paint finished? The painting is scarcely dry, but it is completed at last. Oh, I have longed to see it! No, I bet it's the caliper. Hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who. Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling! Oh, my beloved Kaulifa! So the person he thought I looked like was. the Kaulifa? That's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine beauty oh of her my. most admired Mujesty. <laughs> Mujesty. But that's. <laughs> uh. Oh, divine, truly divine. Her Majesty's beauty takes one's breath away. You are pleased with it. Please, why is worth it all? Thrice would I promise to pay you for it. By the beards of the mighty, truly. We shall shook upon it, don't we? Perhaps next time. Uh, uh, uh I see. Excuse me? Yes? I don't look anything like her. Mm. You said I look like her. You misunderstood Longyeri. You just a picture of you, Millie. M Mr. Drippy? Ah, uh, what is it, man? This is just getting interesting. We need to go to Motorville right now. I just realized who we need to see. You do it? I'm sure that I sure do. It's Miss Layla. Miss Layla is the Califer's soulmate. I just know she is. Of course she is. That's a clever clever of your holy boy. Thanks, Mr. Trippy. When I saw the picture, I knew right away. Right all, let's get moving then, shall we? I don't feel I don't feel tired all of a sudden. Me either. Hey Isha, come on, we have to go. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> I look absolutely nothing like her. Do I look less fat to you? I'm a fat. Uh, uh, you're still kind of angry, huh? What you mean? I'm not angry in the slightest. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, and I'm six foot <laughs> flipping six. Looks like we best leave it. Leave that to it. Uh, uh, I guess we should, huh? She has left left your party. Call the safe. Let's go! Gate of Wales! Ba 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 to Miss Layla's. What is called Layla's Milk Bar? So, huh? The door is closed. What the fuck? How does she get here? Looks like the shop ain't open yet. I'm sure if you wait right here, it should be along soon. It's time to open up already. Oh, someone's coming. It's fucking you. 
Oh, hello, Oliver. Metal, hi. How are you? Are, are you feeling better now? Oh, I am. And all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from the store? Wait a moment. I'll just open up for you. Who's this girl? I feel like... Like you know her somehow? Yes, and she looks just like me. Like my long lost twin or something. She looks much more like me more than stupid old Califer. Hmm? Can she not see me or something? There's a perceptive of ya. She can't see you nor me neither. Really? So invisible? What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, isn't it? Huh? Did you say something, Oliver? Oh no, no I didn't. Anyway, how come you're here? I'm Miss Lady Storm Metal. Hee <laughs> hee, I work here now. Miss Lady and my mama friends. When she heard I was better, she said I should come work here for her. Gee, that's real nice of her. Say, Myrtle, is Miss Lady around? Sure, she's busy training right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. What? Miss Layla? Training? That's right, she started running. Is she on a diet? Hehe, <laughs> not silly, she's excellent so she can eat even more. Huh? What? How do you mean? What the fuck? <laughs> she was something there. Murder, I'm back. Why is it? Why is it? Isn't young Oliver? Hell, dear. Uh, good morning, Miss Layla. <clears throat> I did the thingy's voice there. I'm getting confused. Fuck. Mo, I can't wait any longer. Would you? Y yes, me sir. I, I get it for you right away, right now. Oh, it's no good. I can't wait that long. I have to have some in the store. Dear, if you stay out here and clean or something. My, I've never seen anybody so crazy about a fifth food. What was that? Did she say favorite food? Oi, 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 I'm at the same as the Caliphus. You're right. Let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Manor. Bye. Mm, 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 mm. Cake. Uh, Miss cheese. Layla, what is she eating? It's cheese. A whole lot of cheese. That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. She's gonna die. Quick, Ollie boy! She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some! Sharpish! Okay. Please, Miss Layla, could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, uh -huh. You know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but not Please. that. Just oh, one no, piece. No, no, no. Just one no. giant I said no. Piece. Piece, man. Mine. Heave with all your might. Have it. I I'll never on, let Oliver. you have it. What Go the fuck on, is going on? Run, I tell you, all right. Oh. It's kind of a shock, huh? It sure is. I had no idea. I had no idea she was so obsessed. <laughs> it's it's better not to go near her when she's eating cheese. I I know that now. Metal. 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 Oh, sounds like she needs my help. I better go inside. Goodbye for now. Ciao. Jeepers. So what do we do now? This latest store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver, what's wrong? Oh, hi, Pay. We kind of need some cheese. Cheese? That's right, it's Califer's favorite food. Who is he talking to? Must be his imaginary friend again. Here we flipping go. Huh? We can make it? Make our own cheese? Yes, with your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't. I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try? You think it's really that easy? Yes, sir. But do I even have a spell I can use to do that? Hey, wait! She's gone. I had fun talking to your imaginary friend, did you, Ollie boy? Better than talking to your real friends, was that? Huh? Imaginary? You mean pay? 
Pei? Who's that? What'd you mean? She was right here. Uh, I didn't see anyone. Maybe only... Only... Ugh. Maybe only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Well, maybe it's just like murder. She can't see me, but I can see her. You might free the eye you know. I've never seen Pei either. Anyway, what did Pei say to you, Oliver? Oh yeah, she told me to use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Me could have my jack, you see. Well, she may be too shy to let us see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck, out, a neck, neck out for advice-wise. You mean it? It will work? Nah, man. It will work. The whole point of magic is to make impossible possible, isn't that? Uh, but I guess it's, it's difficult right, without the right ingredient, huh? But we do have them! We we do? Of course we do! Back in Anima Moon, the fountains of milk! <gasps> so we use the magic to turn the milk from the fountains into cheese? Now that we can do, daily. Wait a while, wait. Let's go back to our world, shall we? Yes, let's go straight to the Phantoms of Milk and try it out. They're in the main square, back in Alabama Moon. Luckily I transferred over here from Alabama Moon. So, Phantoms of Milk. How are we going to make cheese? I don't have a spell to make cheese, do I? I don't remember having a spell to make cheese. So these are the fans of milk? Gee, is that real milk? For real? <laughs> of course! The freshest, creamiest milk there is, and there's so much of it you can just keep trying until you get it right. Keep trying? You sure I can do it, huh? I, I didn't mean anything by that. Come on, you've got to conjure up some cheese, focus! Now, do you know how cheese is made? Sure, you heat some milk and then you add lemon and salt and you skim the solid part off the top and lemon salt, what? And it turns into cheese. Blame me, a regular cheese manga you are. This should be cheesy peasy then. All you need is the right spell, isn't it? Cheesy peasy, guys. Cheesy peasy. Sure, uh, let me take a look. So, I bet you we use fireball. Pub string, magic lamp. Oh. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know when I got that. No. Hey. Look at that, it's flipping working. It really is. You get a magic, Oliver. I bet you can even make sweets if you be mind to it. And cakes. Ooh, I could just eat it. Hey, stop that. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. Wow. Damn, that's a big piece of cheese. Anyway, it's sweets and cakes. You take giant cheese wedge. <laughs> Let me guess. He's gonna fucking carry it. Look at the flippin' size of the huts, man. And you went and made some sweets and all. That was Isha's fault. <laughs> I bet you wanted to some too, didn't you? You shouldn't distract someone when they're trying to cast a spell. Well, I, I, I don't be like that now. Come on, go get to see Caliber and our presents to live on the large side, but I don't suppose it would matter. The bigger the better, I reckon. Let's, let's please her with a cheese. Oh, I'm just carrying it. <laughs> Good day to you all. How may I be a service? We bought some cheese to give to the Caliph, Mr. Abdul, sir. Cheese? Praise be the agents. I had thought there was none remaining in all the land. The Caliph had just gone to get enough of it. Oh, well. Hmm. Do you hear of this? It's a secret known only to those within the palace. No matter. You're correct. 
and the artist Mutacy is indeed a great admirer of cheese in many of its forms. So she will be undoubtedly grant audience to whoever come bearing such a gift. Please, you must follow me, quickly. She's gonna be a southern bell as well, I think it. <gasps> Animated cutscene! And my FPS is fucking dog shit. Jeepers, that's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of Shadar, the stinking rock bag. Oh. Mm. What is that divine aroma? Abo! Here, your majesty. Bountiful Khalifa, his humble servants come bearing most delicious tribute. Whoa. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Huh? Please. You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man, bring it to us. Hurry! May. <laughs> there's some big ass cheese. She's not fucking busting a nut. Fucking hell. Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring oh. us one more! Uh, uh, uh. Magnanimous Khalifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. Bovinity? That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, oh. but depending uh. on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? Where the fuck am I going to get restraint from? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favours out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. Is that my book? Why is it on the floor? Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with lots of restraint, Ether? Isha? Hmm, let me see. There must be someone. We can use the locket to try and look for someone, but this big old town man, let's try the shopkeepers first, shall we? That's a mean idea, Miss Strippy. The people who own the shops know everybody in town, and they, all, they hear all the news too. They do, don't they? Great! Let's ask around the shops then. What's that dude again? Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, is that so? Well, well. So they got in the palace, did they? And what did they talk about? Did they? No. Okay, give me a post on what's going on inside. In my payment. Don't worry. You get a reward. By the next time we'll meet, I've scored you some de something decent. Do you mean that you will still say? No, no, no. Don't be stupid. It's just a figure of speech. Now. Concentrate on that job at hand, will you? I'm counting on you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. Hmm. Right. So we've got to speak to the shopkeepers about restraint. Um. Cool. Well, let's go to. Um, can we speak to her dad? No. Well, you're useless, cunt, ain't ya? Who the nanny woman? Hello, I got to talk 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 
But no, restraint. I suppose don't have much. Da, 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 da. Okay. Cool. It looks like we can speak to all the shopkeepers, but we could go to the the thingy guy. By the looks of it. <coughs> the the um, the dude Carter. Now, welcome to Cars Emporium. Oh, I'm happy we got anime cutscene finally, though. On you guys. I'm trying to steer one hand because I want to drink my coffee. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go, a bit forward. Na, 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 na. Oh, yeah, I was going to do this last time, but then. There we go. That's fine, we're mad. Okay. Yeah, I think it is leading us towards the cool guy. Sorry, I yawned. I said, why don't it just say that, you know? Just be like, oh, go to the cool guy. You look troubled. What is equipment enough to survive the harsh deserts of environment you're after? You've come to the right place. Um, actually, we we've come to ask you something. Uh, would you need? We need to find someone with a lot of restraint, but nobody seems to know a person that way. Ah, you must be looking in all the wrong places. Unless I'm a raven man, <laughs> I know just a person. Oh, you do, do you? Who is it? Please, you have to tell us. Abdul, of course. He has had his patience. I'll be crying about it all over town. Ab Abdul? That's right. Another man told me quite a story about him a few years ago. One day, the caliphate decided out of the blue that she wouldn't be contact until she had tasted all the cheese in the well. Cheese? Because she really is just like Miss Layla, huh? Without a moment of action, Abdul set off to look for them all. The forest, the ocean, she went back to the places, and I was five in the domain. Okay. But finally, he came home to roast. And when he did, it was just a cart piled up high with every cheese under the sun. Go on, blimey! It, it had stunk. Now that's what I call restraint by any goodness. Does he need it? With him mutilated, crying all the time. Kaiki, that's impressive. All he did that risk his life and everything for her muse. Is this what her, her muse effort? Oh, I can't fucking know. For her muse, it's massiveness. It's massiveness, but it's muse effortness. Fucking hell. Could have a snack. Tidy, I think we found our man, Ollie boy. Nido, we should go find him straight away. Do you have any weapons? You don't, because you're a low level shop. Fucking look at her. Jesus Christ. Looks like a cathedral, doesn't it? <clears throat> oh, I'm tripping, my eyes are tripping. Mr. Abdul, sir, we found about somebody with a lot of restraint. You did? This is excellent news. You must tell me who it is. It's you! Me? But impossible! Not in the slightest, beta patients. Look at Ollie Boy's locket, it's clawing up a treat. Would you let us borrow some of your restraint, Mr. Abdul? Huh. Well, of course you may. For her majesty, anything. What must I do? There's nothing to do, just lay back and think of all I'm about. Well, get up with you, Ollie boy. Sure, here goes. Take off. That was a fucking easy quest, wasn't it? The power to resist demons of temptation. Tidy, all done. Already, and this is truly enough to restore her majesty to our former glory. You bet it is. Big girl. 
Mmm, cheesy wazels. Bottom of delicious cheesy wazels. All of and all for us. Moo 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 moo. She's got cheese on the flippity prima. Even in her dreams about stuff. Good golly boy. Magic are better, will ya? Yes, sir. Enthusiasm. <laughs> More enthusiasm about cheese. Why no anime cutscene, bruv? That is the reason why volcano the volcano burst. Oh, oh, oh goodness! Oh, 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 oh. Them tig biddies flipping. Goodness, we feel quite marvelous. Whatever can have happened to us? These humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, Mate, now, look at her legs. If you imagine her body, wish to enjoy the is like things in life. so. If her belly's yes. like. I think a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven night crosses from the bottom where Miss Drippy is. So one, two, three. If you imagine her belly is like four, her legs are, are bigger than Ollie Boy. <laughs> anyway. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Good. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labors. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Look at Mr. Drippy just chilling. Indeed they should. It's just fucking vibing, isn't it? Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty, if it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Ooh, our little floaty wooty. Yes, <laughs> of course. Oh, look, she's called Queen. Lola. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee. Thank you, your majesty. Tidy, the boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. You obtained letter of passage. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we ask. Well, uh. It's so strange why this is. Normally, this would be, um. Like. Not voiced. Go on, man. Okay. Wait a minute. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them, do we not? Her feet are half the size of Oli Boy and they are bigger than Mr. Drippy. Indeed, most Men would pay a lot of money for her to step on them. Since the magical arts fell from favor. 
Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is, is something wrong? <laughs> but we hmm? can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. Don't laugh we us, bitch. We will tell you what we know. We just gave you chuz. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mom. Ah. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Happened to, of to skip. Skip all this. Right. It's weird. Realm. So, like, look, stop talking now. Until I press. Sorry, A. I need to look up what fucking controllers. Uh, it's so weird. But he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. A bull? It's so weird. Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. I bet he looks like Ollie Boy. Oh no. So this is one of the great sages, huh? Mate, he looks like fucking how? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie Boy. There's Lucky. You obtained portrait. <laughs> no. Before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic. Fast travel. It's all I want is fast journey. travel. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but... We royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. Why, don't, just, some why don't they just make this a cutscene? Yeah? So fucking weird. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. You see nature's tongue. Okay. Burden. Oh yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. <laughs> it's so weird as well. I couldn't notice it till now. So like uh, the sound bites. Like I don't. This whole section's so fucking weird. So you've got the underline in the. Whoosh, it's going on in the background, but when they speak, they've got like a sort of false um, echo, and it stops when they stop speaking. Yeah. Listen to the next one. Let's see. Let, let me do the next one. May it serve you well. You can actually hear when it stops. What the fuck? Just make this a cutscene. So weird. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Bye. That's so weird, bro. Well, we've got some new magic. Let's find our new spells. Bird, is that one? Yeah, nature's... Oh, we've got magic lamp, what's that? I don't even remember what that fuck is. Conserve freely with both flora and fauna. Okay. I'll, I'll take it as you can speak to... Next one was, uh, is it down there? No. Do, do, do. You do, do, do. There it is. Boop. Adds extra heft to a particularly objects or person. Okay. Cool. I need to sneeze. Right, so now we need to travel back to Castaway Cove. 
So I'm saying, fast travel, bruv. Oh, this person's got a quest. I need to even check for new quests, you know. No, 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 Look at that man, this pigeon is scared of anything. What? What spell? Is that that nature's tongue thing? Oh, animals and plants. Okay, I'm scared to go home, I don't want to be eaten. Eaten? What do you mean? Kawii! You understand me, but you're a human! Yeah, it's in there. Ah, that was easy. Two to go. Oh, might as well do this quest. Hey! Pigeons here. Yes, we understand. They just don't! Yeah, squawk, 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 That is so weird. So I left and then came back and these, oh. I didn't speak to him because I thought, oh, they're probably quest related, but like, legit, I cannot find these fucking pigeons anywhere. And I've been everywhere now. All around Alamamoon. I cannot for the life of me. I've been in every shop. Find these fucking pigeons, man. I have no idea where they are. So I look this shit up, right? You fucking kidding me? I didn't even see that pigeon. So I had to look this shit up because I could not find a pigeon anywhere. And we was just in here. What the fuck? Ah, oh, Jesus. So weird, isn't it? Oh, pigeon boy. You got your pigeons. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Oh, phoenix feathers. Two stamps. Wait. Thank you. Oh, I've got some new quests as well. I'll show you all me um when I get to the board, but I got some new board quests. Yeah, when I was in Swift Solutions earlier, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna look. So if there's anything for me. Cast away cove. Right, all. First things first, let's go and let that captain know we're back, shall we? If he lets us straight onto the boat, we won't have to change into our bathing suits, huh? Really? That's. <coughs> really? That's the shame. I stand to rather like mine. So is I. I can't wait to go over there. Hand over the letter of passage and show the captain smug pants who's boss, eh? Let's do it. We have the cute clue to help us find the next great sage. We're all set. It's funny though, isn't it? That someone so young can be a sage. I mean, he's so much he's so much younger than my father. And a damn sight more handsome, after all. We need to get to Hamlin right away. Come on, let's go see the captain. Eh, 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 I have that. Thank 
you very much. Uh, I can't, I can't sit on a voice for him. We'll see. Him again. No, the picture, it's gone. Oh, oh well. What? And the letter of passage too. He stole them both. Great geezer, pain in the neck, that one. Come on, we best go after him, innit? Yeah, I can't decide a voice for him. Look, it's him! I can't sound on the voice. I was gonna go like proper British. I told you to get this boat moving. The letter of... This is my... Aye, the letter of passage does not belong to you. I know you thief, you stole it from him. Who cares? Just shut up and let me aboard, will you? I've got a letter. Nah. That means I'll get to ride on a ship. I know my rights. Nah, are we gonna take me to Altanium or not? Well... Barley, dear friend. There is no need to be agitated. What is so urgent that you may be waiting for from made of a wind? Here we go. I need to find him. I need to tell him. Him? Who's me him? Listen, I just have to go there and see someone, alright? He's doing it all wrong. So I have to go and show him how to do it right. Come on, take me there. You are known to this in town. Why would I let such a... Such as ye aboard my precious ship now. G listen, I have to get there, all right. If anything happens to him, because because you won't take me there, I won't I won't forget it in a hurry. Save your empty threats and tell me instead of who you speak. Why would you have to take him to him? G it's none of your business. Now shut up and get me this boat moving. Stop. Give us back our back our things. Damn it, not you again. Aye, you have returned, lad. Well met. Wait, this letter of passage, is it yours? Yes, Captain, he stole it from us. Just as ye thought. The carefully will never grant such a privilege to a common criminal. Be gone, ye filth. So does this mean you're not going to take me? But, but, can't you see? I'm going to jump in the river. Oh, look. Nightmare. Can't you see? It's all for him. I have to get to the Empire. Ah. What this be? Careful, Oli boy. Something's not right there. That black mist. It's another nightmare. A nightmare? Oliver, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Be careful, Isha. It's going to attack. What? Oh, no. I didn't save. This is our first one in this world though, isn't it? Last one we thought was in the other world. Ah, well. You will soon come to... Void of Restraint. Cool. I have no magic. No, I didn't want him. There we go. Right, let's get some magic. I didn't invade. We're all asleep. This is 
Nice. That did a lot of damage. Just need to watch my health. Muzzle wake up. Not as hard as the last boss. Easy. It just takes time. It, doesn't it? it just takes grinding time. I was gonna say actually, yeah, while we're in this predicament, like, like what I did this last time, like I, what I found is that when I was watching it myself, uh, I was getting quite bored. Because <laughs> obviously, what I tend to do is, oh, first, first try boss fight, let's just con conclude the whole lot. Because obviously, because it was such a slog of like. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, I've run out of stuff. Switch. I'll wait for him to heal. Change. Use spells. You know, it was quite boring to watch. So I think I might do the same with this one. Just I just chop it down a tiny bit. Just so it makes it a bit better for viewing. Because if I'm bored, I, well, the way I feel anyway, is if I'm bored watching it, then someone else is going to be bored watching it. Anyway, so. Cool, level 22. Level 19. That's oh, so cheer. Ah, hang on, where am I? You are taken over by a nightmare man. Think it might have had you a bit of a funny turn, like. Can we have our picture back now? Sharp, all of you. Get away from me. If you've come what I, I if you've come what if you come one step closer, I'll tear this picture to tiny pieces. You hear me? Alright? Jeepers, what should we do, Mr. Drippy? I think he's still heartbroken. What's he missing, though, I wonder? Aye, I get that. The same as Khalifa, ain't it? He's got no restraint. So he can't help himself. He just runs around pinching things willy-nilly. So we need to find him some restraint, do we? But where do we look? Abdo already shared his with us. This is where your locker comes in handy, Oli boy. Cast the big ovint too big, we'll find someone with restraint no time. Let's start looking then, shall we? I don't care what you do, just in just do it somewhere far away from me. Get lost. Captain? Captain. Captain? Captain. No. Well some of a quest here. Oh, it's the Krabby Crab. Hello, Krabby Crab. Grab, grab. So cool, I can talk to Wow. What's going on? Pretty shocked, mate. Wow. But, uh, what do you want? I don't know what you want, mate. Agree to help Blue Crab, yes. To the east. Alright. Oh. Thank you. Oh yeah, if you're speaking of errands, I looked into sunshine st um sunshine stone. They're um, ember stones, and they come from sunshines. And like, legit, there's no way you can. Um, it's like a you have to use a certain something or other. I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, it's quite tough to do, and I was just like, you know what? I cannot be fucked. <laughs> so I'll do it later. Excuse me. Bath chocolate. I haven't actually fed my guys in ages. 
Just technics, just good. Yeah. Love my little boy. Little Ponyo. Just look at Trixies. No, Trixies. What's, I assume Bubble Bath is a shaped fan of Beaver Bubble with Bone dealing water damage to no enemies. Okay, we're done. What about you, Mudo? Okay. Fun Spark is really good. By you. I keep pressing the wrong one. No, you're shit. At the moment. Sabotage. No, let's give you a smash hit, shall we? We'll cry, put some poke, slice and dice. Okay. You're good for now. I haven't got any film formulas. I didn't want to spoil anything, so I haven't really looked into stuff for this, so. But I've got like. But I don't. No. That is equipped, okay. Gordy's is equipped. Ring a bell. Oh, I've got some babanas. Okay, cool, anyway. What are you wanting? Kindness, I've got kindness. I think I have it. Cool, just give me stamps. Carrot cake. <laughs> they look like bunnies. <laughs> Two stamps? Fuck you. Don't they? They look like bunnies. Bunnies. Magical attack. Well, do you know who needs magical attack? Yeah. Say someone else needs a quest, but it's just that girl. Oh, fuck off. No, okay. So, just got two at the moment. Any more bounties? No, still got one on the way. Claim bounties? No, claim merit cards. I have one on me. So, I need to finish what I'm doing so I can get Jack in the box. It's easy to sneak up upon enemies. So, cool. Ah! So it's the governor, huh? He's the one with restraint to spare, is that? Of course, his man makes sense, innit? Think how patient he had been to get all them to come around to use beef and sweet idea. Something troubling you, friends? Oh, I see. That you're not wearing your bathing suits. Did you tire of them too soon? No, sir, it's nothing like that. We're just about to board a ship and leave town, that's all. Oh, a ship, you say? So you are dressed for travel, I see. But our letter of passage was stolen, and now we need to need to ask your favour, Mr. Governor, sir. I'm sorry to hear of your misfortune. What do you require of me? As it's within my power, I will do it. Thank you very much, Governor. We need to, yeah, <coughs> we need you to help save us some save somebody. Coming to aid of one in need, a very worthy goal. But to help us, we need your strength, sir. My strength? Yes, sir. We need to give him a piece of your heart that's missing. No, one of that heartbroken in our town, this cannot be. Know what they are, do you? Tidy, then we'll make this quick. As you can see, this young man by here is a wizard. A wizard you can mend broken hearted, nonetheless. By the beards of the mighty. And this person we want to help has lost his powers of restraint. You have such incredible patience and forbo forebodingness, Governor. 
Would you mind sharing with us to help us mend someone's heart? Mm, this is unexpected, but of course. Tell me what I must do and I will do it. Neato. Thank you so much, Mr. Governor. Tidy. I'll move the show in, Oli boy. Hey, look at his little dancer. Thank you. What is this curious sensation? My heart, it feels so much lighter. Does this mean I have successfully shared a piece of it with you? It sure does. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Nice work, Ollie White. Now, let's go know about that broken hearted fella by the dock, shall we? Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Governor. I hope to see you in Castaway Cove again soon, young man. Where no bathing suit, of course. And yours, young lady. Give me a peek at yours. What was that, Governor? Uh, nothing, nothing. 